guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. If some of you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon, today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of After Class, Mark's Path. Y'all, I'm doing a lot better. I'm catching up on all the sleep I've missed. I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. I'm feeling a little, little I'm feeling pleasantly drowsy. Um, I'm, I'm here to bring y'all more content. I'm doing good. It, a lot of the stuff that was going on was just in my head, just me freaking out. So, ah, uh, Nary is back, and Nary is feeling. Pretty damn good. But anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> oh, well, can't trust my memories nowadays. You have, your, have you ever checked what's wrong with your brain? Is this rhetorical? It could be if you wanted to, but I was seriously asking. And no, I haven't. Eh, okay. Found you guys. Tora? Dinner is almost ready. Lars told me to fetch you guys. Oh, I'm excited to eat his food again. You should be. He's making something amazing from our usual ingredients. He's really handy to have around, don't you think? Heh, <laughs> yeah. I'd like to have someone who can cook for me every day. Mmm! As you walked to the dining room, you could feel how different it was compared to the places at places back home and in Highwell. There was a distinct oriental feel to it in here. There was also a lot of empty tables, if not all. Could it be that no one really went here during spring? Hey, what are those tables called? Their legs are pretty... short. Oh, those are called... Chabudai. Those cushions are called Zabuton cushions. Ah, I was wondering what that, what that, what about that as well. You've never seen those, Henry? Nope. Heavy has quite knowledge about stuff like that. He's a weeb. I'm not a weeb. Oh, look, someone dressed like Lucci Hartfilia. My waifu? Where? <laughs> oh my god, that's so nerdy. Told you. Grr, grr. Well, that aside, please sit down. I've prepared some tea for you guys. Nothing like a cup of tea after a soak in the hot spring, right? Yeah. Well, to be honest, you would prefer some milk right now, but you didn't want to be rude. Ooh, what kind of tea is it? Judging from the leaves, it looks like oolong tea. It is. How did you know? My dad drinks tea a lot. Processed tea bags are not exactly his thing. Ah, that's why. I'm not sure if this is dark or light oolong, though. We serve dark oolong for you guys. Ah, I see. I should be fine, although I prefer light oolong. Thanks. No problem. Please enjoy. I'll go back to the kitchen now. It won't take long, I promise. Take your time, bud. Thanks for your hospitality. You're welcome. Here, let me pour the tea for you guys. Ah, let me. You're older than us. You shouldn't do that. Oh, thank you, Anders. Mm-hmm. Following that logic, Mark should be pouring it for us. He's the youngest, after all. I'm not pouring tea for anyone. Prideful as always. Excuse me, Henry. Oh, uh, okay. As Anders poured the tea into your cup, you could wait. You could whiff a distinct smell coming out of the teapot. It was almost like cinnamon, maybe caramel. Your nose was sort of confused. Hmm, what a strange smell. You took a sip of the oolong tea. Weird. Your taste buds were also confused. Another sip. Still nothing. Oh God, does Henry have the? Does Henry have the Rona? Do you like it, Henry? I'm not sure. It tastes a little bit weird. Yeah, I agree. My tongue isn't agreeing with it that much. I like it. Everything you can shove into your mouth is delicious to you. I'm not surprised. What? I wonder if you'll like my hot dog. What the fuck? Stop that. I don't want to hear that. Keep it to yourselves. Yeah, you weirdos. Sorry for the wait. Dinner's ready to be served. Tora along with staff people and Lars brought in the food. Whoa, that's a lot. Whoever gave you these giveaway tickets is too generous, Mark. Hmm? Oh, I suppose so. That's a lot of food. Are you sure it's okay? It's not like I'm complaining, but I'm just making sure. Yeah, don't worry about it, though. It's on us. We're feeling a bit generous today. Plus, you're our only customers right now. I hope this hasn't been tampered with and, and, and infused with sleeping drugs so you can take us hostages later. Ha! <laughs> Where did that come from? Of course not. I'd eat with you guys, too. And didn't your friend help us in the kitchen? Kitchen? He wouldn't give us a chance to tamper with, this, with, with how much detail he put into his cooking. He laughed loudly and patted Lars on the back. This guy's a real chef. Huh. I wonder if we'll be able to finish it. Oh, I wouldn't worry too much. We got Parker. Well, I hate to admit it, but I feel like we'll be able to finish it. You couldn't. That's fine. You shouldn't waste food, you know. While Mark and the others were busy talking with Tori, you noticed that there was something that looked like water. But it smelled like anything but water. You decided to ask Avi. Maybe he knew something about it. It's probably sake. Hey, Avi, this smells nice. What is it? Avi took a whiff and he shook his head. Ooh, that's strong. So, what is it? Sake, yep. Hey, got it right. One second, y'all. Let me, uh, take some a little water. Ah. 
Oh, I've heard about it. It's alcohol, right? Yeah, I love me some sake. Yep. Yes. <coughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. Oh, I heard alcohol. Ah, I'm glad you guys served us sake. Well, being students aside, I thought you guys were all adults, so it should be okay. I don't mind. Let's drink the night away, everyone. Disclaimer. Bad example. Please drink responsibly. I don't, I don't drink, so you guys can do that without me. Me neither, although it smells really nice. I can drink. <laughs> Anders can. He's quite good at it, too. Oh, that's new. Hmm. Well, the food won't finish itself, so you need to eat it instead of staring at it. Right, before we dig in. Huh? i like to thank Mark for bringing us here. What? Don't be so dramatic. Still, thanks to you, we had a great time together. Not as teachers and students, but as friends. Here, have some sake to celebrate. But wait, I don't drink! Mark, you're so cool! You looked at him with sparkling eyes. Well, if you put it like that, I suppose that's fine. Alright, let's get wasted tonight. Woo! Uh, you probably shouldn't yell that loud. Out that, well, yell that out loud. Tora, come join us. Huh? I shouldn't. Oh, please sit down and celebrate with us. Yeah, let's have fun together. If you insist. Once Tora sat down, he grabbed and raised his cup. Here's for Mark. For Mark! Oh, all you guys. Please, don't boost my ego more than you guys already have. Huh. <laughs> Rideful as always. Please, dig in. Food. You guys are wild. <laughs> How did Lars end up helping in the kitchen, Tora? Right. We just talked briefly at the beach house. He was curious about the village, so I told him everything he wanted to know. Eventually, we ended up talking about the inn, so I told him that he could that we could use some help in the kitchen. I don't know why I decided to ask him, but it almost but it almost like something spoke to me. I must say, I don't regret that decision. He was great in the kitchen. It was almost like he was born for it. The way he handles knives, how he steams the buns, preparing the meat, everything was perfection. <sighs> hey, you don't have to say it like that. He's blushing, how cute. I knew he was a great cook, but I never knew he would, that, would be that great. I mean, he had helped us cook before. Everything was everything was made easier with him around. You guys... That's really cool! Thanks. If only you could cook for me every day. Ah, oh, that would be awesome. Uh, oh, do, do you want me to? If you could do that, I wouldn't mind. I'll see what I can do then. What? I can cook too! Uh-huh, I don't doubt it. Ah. Uh, well, let's celebrate with more with, more, more with food and sake. Finish what's on your plate first. Oof! Please don't go. Is that just me, or did he just meow? I'm sure he meowed just now. Lions don't do that, do they? They do not. <gasps> Why did you lie to me? He's pretty drunk. No wonder he said he couldn't drink. Henry, let's get naked! How do I silence him? Well, he's not the only one drunk. Lars and Parker are wasted, too. He was right. The two of them were out cold. You guys need my help carrying them back to your rooms? We'll be fine. We've got enough hands as we are. Alrighty, then. You guys can carry them back. I'll clean this up. Woo, tipsy. Oh, don't forget to give them some water after this. Hopefully it'll be Evely to ease their hangover for tomorrow. One second, y'all. Let's see what time it is. Yeah, it should be fine. Alright, let me drink some water. Alrighty. Let's do it. Abby, you helped me carry Parker. Gotcha. Anders, I trust you can bring Lars to our room, yes? Hmm. I trust Mark in your hands, Henry. Okay. As everyone brought the guys into their rooms, you had a little bit of a problem. Mark refused to move, and he was being stubborn about it. Hey, let's go back to our room. You can't fall asleep here. Hmm, carry me like you're my prince. <gasps> I'm no prince, and I can't carry you. Then be my princess. He leaned in closer to kiss you, which you repelled with your paw. Not a chance. Come, stop being so stubborn, and let's go to our room, yeah? Mmm, yeah, okay. You're not supposed to be meowing. Cut that out. It's weirding me out. You don't like me? Sad. Very sad. You're just saying nonsense now. <laughs> Steady, come on. Floor boobles. What the fuck are floor boobles? Whew, made it. Good job, Mark. Y y yay! Ugh. Ugh, that wasn't pleasant. Just a little bit more. There we go. Someone had laid out the futon so you could just place Mark down on it. Oof. You remember that Tora suggested to give them some water to drink so it would ease their hangover later. Huh, I remember Mark bringing a water bottle with him. Maybe there's still water left. 
Sorry, Mark, I knew I shouldn't do this, but I don't see water anywhere. I was outside the bathroom, but you didn't think of that, think of that at the moment. Hmm, so many items inside. One thing caught your hand, and it was a, a watch of some sort? This is... Well, doesn't this look a little bit like like my pendant? Come to think of it, it reminds me of that drawing I found in my I found in his room. What does this mean? Ah, I can worry about it later. I gotta take care of Mark first. For the first time, you for the first for the last time you rummaged through Mark's backpack. There you go. One water bottle obtained. All right, one second, y'all. There you go. One water bottle obtained. Mark, you still awake? Ugh. I take that as yes. <laughs> Since he was mostly wasted, you scooped his head so he could drink the water. Surprisingly, Mark wasn't throwing, wasn't thrashing around. He was rather obedient and drank the water like it was, well, water. Good boy. Heh. <laughs> I don't get to do that often, so that was fun. Tired. I should lie down. You felt a sense of relief once your back touched the mattress. Phew, I didn't know I needed that. The first 20 seconds were relaxing, but then Mark scooted over and snuggled against you. Ugh, you reek of sake. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. Also, you're a lion. You don't make that kind of sound. Henry, it's really warm here. What do you mean? It's just fine. I meant here. He grabbed your arm and put it on his crotch. You didn't expect that, so you yanked it away. Well, he wasn't lying when he said it was really warm. Henry, I'm burning up. Do something. No, you're just drunk. Still, he looks like he needs help. Hmm. Now that kind of help, you perv. I just break the fourth wall. Come on. His hoodie looked like it. Could, his hoodie looked like it would make his body warm. So he decided to remove his clothes to exchange it with something more breathable. Oh, damn. Oh, oh my. Wait, why is he going commando? No, keep it together. <laughs> the whole time you were undressing him, he was looking at you with such sultry eyes, to quote him. Um, I know you're drunk and all, but can you not stare at me like that? Henry, you're hot. You knew he was drunk, but it didn't stop you from blushing anyway. Can I, uh, <gasps> hold you close? No, you're drunk. Go to sleep. He didn't listen to you and ended up clinging on to you. Mark in a drunk state was not a good idea. He somehow found his way to slip his hands under your shirt, squeezing your nipples. Ah! Um, everything all right? Crap, you can't see me like this. All good. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, then. Whew! One crisis averted, and there was still another one you needed to deal with. Since he was drunk, his movements were slow, so you could remove his hands. Let's get out of this room. You knew that it wasn't okay to leave a drunk person alone, but for the sake of your the sake of your purity, you had to. Look, it's not like I don't want to do. It's not like I don't want to do it with him. He's just, but he's just drunk. Like he's not himself right now. He was practically. He was practically doing it. He was practically. He was practically doing it in front of. Oh, oh. Yeah. Do you need something, Henry? Oh, water, perhaps. No, actually, I'm heading out for a little bit. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> Outside of the inn. It's a bit stuffy in my room. I need to get some fresh air. Where's Anders? In the room. He said he'd watch the others. Ah, okay. Speaking of. Can you watch him for a bit? I can do that. Thanks. Don't mention it. Don't stay out too late. Don't uh, don't don't want you to catch a cold. Gotcha. Ugh, I didn't expect it to be this cold. Well, at least it's refreshing. It is refreshing. Ah! Oh, sorry, did I startle you? Just a little bit. You guys really need to sneak around, don't you? We can't help it. It's our predatory genes. Am I your prey right now? Not at all. I mean, I can pretend that I'm jumping onto you. I'll be fine without that. Heh, <laughs> okay. What are you doing out here? Can't sleep? Mostly, yeah, I just need some fresh air. Let's sit down. Sure. He sat down next to Tora on the bench under the window. It's getting chillier now, don't you think? Yeah. I'm gonna make some tea for both of us. How'd you like the oolong tea we brewed for you? Ah, I'm sorry, but I found it a little strange. That's okay. I'll see if I can come up with something. Oh, sorry for the trouble. Don't worry about it. I'll be back soon. Take your time. Whew! Whoa. That's so pretty. I don't remember the last time I stargazed something this beautiful. Wow. I didn't know it was possible to see something like this with my naked eyes. Wow. You couldn't help but get starstruck. Literal stars. Not those celebrities. With eyes closed, you let out a big sigh. The more I hang with them, the more curious I get. It feels like meeting them is not just a coincidence. I hope nothing bad comes out of this. This is to remind you that once you, well, we once had fun together. Wherever we go, we'll always be there for you through this. You're saying it like we don't see each other in a long time. 
It's just something to remind us that we once had fun together. Hey. Huh? Hey, I'm here with the tea. Oh, thank you. What were you thinking about? Just some fleeting memories. Reminiscing, huh? That's always nice. I guess so. Oh, don't drink it just yet. Just give the leaves some time to unfurl. Oh, okay. I tried making a lighter blend of the oolong tea, but it's not as weird as that other one. Heh, <laughs> I appreciate it, Dora. He sat there, looking at the leaves slowly unfurling themselves. That looked cool for some reason. Um, young master, you're here. You need something? Yes, we need your assistance in the boiler room. Oh, what happened to it this time? I'll go check it myself, don't worry. Okay. So much for chilling out here. Well, I gotta go now, Henry. I hope you enjoy your tea. Ah, that soon? Okay. Yeah, duty calls. Don't stay out for too long, you might catch a cold. Mm-hmm, thanks for the tea, Tora. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Tora. Sneeze. <laughs> Ugh, now it's getting colder. I should head back inside, too. What a day. Huh? You notice some blush some bushes that were planted on the other side of the inn's yard rustled as if something's walked past them. Despite it being a cold night, there wasn't any breeze, so it struck you as out of ordinary. Ugh. Did the bush just groan? Definitely not. It talked? Fine, I am the bush. Speak not of this encounter, and I shall grant you a wish. The voice was familiar, and you already knew whose voice it belonged to. It had a chuckle, still trying to amuse whoever you thought was was on the other side. Can you? Ugh, this is dumb. Just give me a moment. Heh, <laughs> all right. You stood by the entrance and waited for him to come out. Better. Oh, all right. Let me go ahead and uh, pause it right there, y'all. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. If a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.